What's going on people, it's FND. Feeling a bit low today, but hopefully the gym should help, you know, get them endorphins going. But I'm happy that I'm getting to the gym again today, because previously I would have been making excuses not to go. But, let's do this. That's UK, UK Started recording just a teen Killing these rappers around 16 Poor school, now I'm the best around Playing my songs while they're out and down Like, whoa I came up, that's all me Now I'm lying, my whole team around FND told me, hold it down These waste mans don't understand Man, I'm on my grind And you wonder why I shout live or want every song Cause no MC can do it like me Try do it like me Like, whoa <laughs> As you can see once again, got a sweat going and uh, I'm happy with myself for putting in the effort to get here at least. Just when I come tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I gotta make sure I push myself a bit more on the treadmill. I wanna make sure that's really big because that's pretty much all I all I used to use when I lost weight the first time. I used to just do a 20 minute jog on a treadmill and eat really healthy and that was it. I lost loads of weight so hopefully I can get myself back on that. My stamina is down at the moment, so hopefully I can get myself back up on on uh, on the stamina and in the tre on the treadmill. It's going to take time, but uh, you know, let's just get it done. So day two done, people. Thank you for all your support, all your kind, caring messages, all your supportive messages. Thanks to Fit Republic for once again looking after me. And uh, stay tuned because I'm going to give myself about I'll give myself another week <coughs> doing it on my own. And then I'm going to get a, a personal trainer to take me on the pads and maybe get somebody to give me a bit of advice as well in on different different apparatus and hopefully I can get back up to it, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, definitely looking forward to doing pads with with, uh, with um, the boxing coach and I'm looking forward to starting to see some results hopefully very soon. I've got eight weeks until my until my first child is born and I would I would really like to lose as much as possible before then. Obviously, it's not long, but if I can drop like a stone or two stone before then, uh, I'll be happy. So I'm just gonna try and do that now. Anyway, I gotta go get Holly something from the pharmacy. She's got heartburn, pregnancy-related heartburn. So I'm gonna grab her some heartburn medicine, and then I'm gonna head off home. And then I'll sit, man, people, I'll sit. So it's not long now till the Mayweather vs Pacquiao fight, which is quite uh, crazy when you think about it, because it was like just yesterday me and, me and Castle talking about going to Vegas for it and stuff. Now it's like literally days away for the for the fight. So uh, I've been mean, talking to Cass, obviously he's my only friend out here really, I've not really got friends out here in this country, it's just me and Holly really. Uh, I've been mean, talking to him about where we're going to go watch it. And uh, he said uh, there's only two places that he knows of that showing it. One of them is Gold's Gym. He works for Gold's Gym. They've they've they're showing it in one of their gyms. I said which one? They've got a really small gym, which uh, they're, they're showing it at in in Dera. Now Dera is a place which I hate. It's on the way to Charger. It's a shit hole. It's not very nice. And it's just like I don't really go. I never ever ever go to Dera. So they're showing it there, but I don't want to go to Dera to watch it. I said, where's the other place? 
by the way, Cass didn't like Dare either, so it wasn't really, I doubt it was going to be an option with him. So I said, where else is there? He goes, uh, we can watch a, a cinema, a Novo cinema in Sahara Centre. Now, Novo cinema I've never been to before, but it used to be called uh, Cine Royal, I think, before they changed it. I think it was, I think it was, it was there was another name for it, but they've changed it to Novo now. But yeah, I think it was Cine Royal. Anyway, that would be a good option, even though I, I, I always smoke shisha whenever I watch a fight. But obviously, if you can't, you can't. Uh, so um, that's another option going to go and watch it at a cinema, which I think might be quite interesting. Why am I out of focus right now? Why am I out of focus right now? You piece of shit! All right, here we go. Come on, sort it out, bro. Why am I out of focus for? This camera's brilliant. It's a brilliant camera. I love it. I really, really, really like it. But it's always in and out of focus, and I've changed the settings and everything, so it shouldn't be out of focus all the time. But when it's in focus, look, it's pretty beautiful, isn't it? It's, I mean, I'm not beautiful, but it's pretty beautiful. The quality is pretty beautiful. Anyway, so we might go watch it at that cinema, Novo Cinema. I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens. If not, last worst case scenario, I'm just going to get it at home, I think, and then spark up a shisha and, and watch it. But, you know, I've, I've uh, emailed my... Um, my contact at Vox Cinema as well, obviously, you know, I do a lot of stuff with Vox. I contacted them as well and said, listen, would you be interested in showing it in Vox Gold? Because I'd pay good money to sit in Vox Gold with my own butler and watch the Mayweather Pacquiao fight in, in complete and utter luxury. So we'll see what they say. I don't think they're going to, though. I don't think, I don't think two cinemas are going to be showing it. Definitely that one cinema showing it, but that's in the Sahara Centre, man. The Sahara Centre is a shit hole too, you know what I mean? That's why I don't want to go there. So we'll see what happens anyway, but obviously I'm going to probably watch it with Cass. And if, if Holly's not working that night, then she can come watch it too. Even though she's not really into that kind of stuff. So we'll see, hopefully it'll be, that'll be a pretty cool vlog as well. I'm not sure I want to win, I've not really spoke about it too much. I th obviously I'm a big fan of Mayweather, but you know, I, I, I'm kind of hoping that Pacquiao wins. Just to knock Mayweather off his, off his unbeatable streak, you know what I mean? Like, nobody's unbeatable. That's what you think anyway. You, all these years, everybody says, you know, Mayweather is not unbeatable. But anybody that comes near him doesn't even. Not, he's not. I don't think he's had one good fight where he, like he's flipping, been t been put to the test. You know what I mean? So hopefully this fight with Pacquiao will either put him to his proper, put him to a proper test, so like you know, it gets to a, close to Pacquiao winning, or Pacquiao will just destroy him. One of the two. I don't think it'll be an easy fight for Mayweather, but I don't know, man. I, I kind of want him to win because then he keeps his. He, he's probably just going to end up, end up retiring unbeaten. You know what I mean? But I just I don't know, man. This is this is probably the biggest fight for him, and then after this he might retire. Because who else? It's it's always been Pacquiao has always been the one that he, that he want, everybody wants him to fight, and now obviously he fights him. That's the end of, end of the story for both of them, isn't it? Pacquiao definitely going to retire after this one. So because he, he was talking about retiring ages ago, so. And he did retire for a bit, I think, and he came back. I'm not sure anyway. So, hopefully, yeah, I don't know, it'll be a good fight, but I just hopefully, hopefully Mayweather keeps his streak, I guess. But a small part of me wants to see Pacquiao just blast him and knock him off his streak and bullshit, you know what I mean? Just a little kid driving about, man, flipping out. Chill out, lad. So, yeah, that's about it, really, you know, in regards to that. So, I'll just keep you posting on where we watch it and everything. Uh, just got home now, long drive, I had to go get Holly some medicine from the pharmacy which took the piss. So now uh, I'm going to go inside, I've got to edit this vlog. I've got to um, Skype some people. Oh man, and I've got to get to bed. Uh, early day tomorrow. Early morning, early start. Man's tired, man's tired. Oh, by the way. Some big news I haven't even spoke to you guys about yet. I've been nominated for uh, an Ahlan Award. Ahlan is one of the biggest magazines out here in the in the, the UAE. It's like it's basically Hello Magazine. Ahlan in Arabic means hello. So it's Hello Magazine Awards. Um, basically, they do the best of everything in the UAE, and, and and obviously you vote like around the world, worldwide. You vote for who you think is the best in that category. So they've got all kind of categories, categories like. They've got best bar, best club, best restaurant, best uh, radio presenter, best TV presenter, um, best sports personality, best flipping chef, best taxi company, like anything you can imagine. They've got everything basically. So one of the categories is best blog and best blogger, right? Now, 
that category is already already full with a bunch of people, but I've been nominated now, and uh, the voting. Uh, it's unfortunately I was nominated on the weekend, right? The, I was vo I was nominated the day before the weekend, Thursday, right? So Friday, Saturday, Friday and Saturday, everybody's off. Sunday they come back. So Sunday they're going to send me an email. They said they called me. and said we're going to send you an email on Sunday with all the information, and then that's when you're going to get uh, your your you know all the information and then you tell your your audience to vote for you and then if obviously if you win then you know you win so all right cool now to, for me it's not all about winning like, I, don't, I don't give a shit if i win or not you know what i mean it's just it'll probably just be a little trophy or whatever the big thing for me is that i've been involved in this stuff you know what i mean like because obviously you know there's been loads of different things happening for the past couple of years and i've not really been involved in anything my main my main concentration was to get the vlogs up and to have a uh, good following and good supporters and just just to keep showing you guys the real stuff, you know what I mean? I've not been chasing around different award ceremonies and trying to get involved in different things. You know what I mean? I've not been doing that. So now, obviously, to be involved in this, to have had a, a you know, an interview with uh, with Abu Dhabi Week, to have had an, an, an interview with uh, Clinch Times. Slowly, it's coming up now, and it's good because obviously, it's it's happened organically and naturally. I've not had to go chase anything. It's all that's happened from just my hard work, really, and you guys supporting. So it's brilliant. But anyway, on Sunday they're going to be. Um, giving me the details so on Sunday if you watch out for the twi my Twitter and my Instagram I'm gonna post it all on there what you need to do and if you wouldn't mind obviously I'm gonna do another video as well when when it's live I think we've got about I think I've got about a week or two weeks to get on all my audience to vote for me and everything uh, and yeah I mean I'd really appreciate everybody's votes uh, obviously you can only vote once so just just you know make that one count and just, I think you got to sign in to the Ahalan website which I'll, I'll have the link anyway you click the link and you just go and vote for my Abu Dhabi life and obviously you know, it's, as I said, I don't care if I win or not, but it'd be good to have you guys support me and back me on that because I know there's a lot of you guys from all over the world, man, who who watch the vlogs, who always comment and say nice things and and want to show you support. And this is probably as well as the usual support, like subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting, and, and spreading the word. This is a really good way for you guys to show your support and for us all as a, as a big team and as a big family to go forward. Like if we if we win best blog, best blogger in the Middle East. 2015 imagine how sick that would be and how, how how amazing that would be to put on my Twitter and, and to put, even to put as a tagline on, on the vlog channel and stuff how amazing that would be best blog crazy man there's, there are a lot of bloggers out here but they do different things like obviously there's, diff there's a difference between video bloggers and actual bloggers are different you know what I mean bloggers write about stuff and they do more in, in depth talking and stuff whereas video bloggers vloggers they just video or whatever and me, obviously, it's lifestyle kind of stuff, my life in it, my everyday life. So, so yeah, anyway, um, fucking awkward. I don't like his neighbour. I've got to get out of the car now. Same time as I get out of the car. But anyway, yeah, big love, people. Make sure you, you check out on Sunday. I'll give you all the information. And, um, yeah, other than that, uh, just, yeah, stay tuned and please do please do vote for for my everyday life on. Ad That's not. That got creepy, isn't it? Uh, vote for my Abu Life on, on the Island Awards. I will tweet it and I'll Instagram it and I'll also do another vlog uh, to let you guys know what to do and everything with the link in the description. So yeah, other than that, um, I look forward to, to doing to doing um, to hyping up this, this vote situation and we'll see what happens, yeah? We'll see what happens. Big love people. Thank you all for watching. Thanks. Anyway, big love. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate appreciate your watching. I really appreciate all your comments and everything like that. Um, I've been a bit busy and stressed out over the past week or so. Obviously, there's a lot happening. You guys only see some of it. There's a lot of other stuff which I'm going to explain to you nearer the time. But for now, it's all on the wraps. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. So it's a bit hard for me to sleep at night. It's hard for me to flip in, uh, you know, vlog and, and edit stuff. And, and then obviously I'm getting to the gym now. Also, there's an extra strain on me now where I'm trying to get my life sorted out but it's it's going to obviously there's obviously going to be growing pains and there's going to be there's going to be a you know a difficult time where I've got to transform or tra transition myself from where I'm right now to where I want to be it's going to be difficult because there's a lot going on in my life at the moment and if you add gym to it and add eating healthy and add extra stress and extra strain and different and uncomfortable situations and and you know out of comfort zone it's going to be difficult so that's why um you know the vlogs are a little bit not you know a little bit out of the ordinary not not really daily at the moment but i have blasted out like three vlogs today one of them was a short one of, of the first day at the gym yesterday another one was the interview with uh Abu Dhabi week which i had to get approved before i released it obviously i wanted to make sure they were happy with everything before i released it which they were 
and that will be out as well. That's another vlog I'm going to do next week. I'm going to go and grab a copy of it and show you guys what the, what it all looked like and said and everything. And another one was, uh, what was the other one? And obviously another one was showing you guys the villa. I'm going to show you guys the villa again tomorrow as well when those women come and clean. It's a bit dirty at the moment, like dusty and sandy and, you know, builders have been in there. It's brand new, like I haven't, you know, nobody's lived there before me, so it's it's like all, you know, there's just all like building stuff in there, like dust and sand and stuff from the door being open and the work boot, you know, work boots all over the place. So um, they're going to obviously blitz it from roof, from roof to floor hopefully it'll be all you know spotless they said they're gonna take eight hours to clean it tomorrow so yeah two filipino ladies gonna come around and smash it so you know that's it so i'll show you that tomorrow and then yeah what else anything else tomorrow that's about it i'm gonna go to the gym as well i'm not sure i'm gonna go to the gym in the morning or night time probably night time if i'm gonna be with those women in the morning i've got to holly to work as well first oh yeah tomorrow night we're going for another baby scan me and holly are going to hospital for another baby scan so we'll, we'll make sure we get that in the vlog as well and it's only eight weeks now until the baby's born, which is mental, and it might even come early. It might come a bit late. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens, but it's crazy. It's, the time has flown by, and um, I think we'll be ready for the baby when it gets here. But right now, we're still a bit manic, so we'll see what happens, man. But, um, yeah, thank you, thank you all for your support. Thank you all for showing so much love. Thank you all for sticking with us throughout these vlogs. Um, we're currently on about 600... No, sorry... 6,000, 4, 500, something like that. It'd be nice to get 7,000 subscribers before the end of the month. It'd be really nice. So if you wouldn't mind, please push in. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do. Even if there's a lot of people who, who let me know that they have, they watch the videos, but they haven't got a YouTube account. It takes two seconds to up a YouTube account and then we can connect, we can comment, you know, we can talk on there, you can subscribe, you can like, you can comment on videos and let me know how you're feeling and be involved a lot more. You know what I mean? Uh, share, share as well. Share the vlogs. So and let, like, let, let all your friends know. Obviously, as I said before, five of your friends. If I get five subscribers out of you know you telling your friends, or even one subscriber for every person that tells five friends, one of them subscribes. It really build it up quickly. So I really, I would really appreciate that kind that kind of support. Obviously, I'm doing this. I'm working hard, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get the vlogs out for you, give you nice content, and. And make sure they're out every time, every day, as, as much as possible. Um, so, in return, I would really appreciate you guys helping me get some more subscribers in there and build the channel, build build the family, man, build Team F and D. So yeah, anyway, I've talked too much now. I'm getting even, I'm getting more and more tired sitting here. So, I'm gonna go in, get myself an apple. I've been looking forward to apple since since I left the house to go to the gym. I've been looking forward to a nice green, fresh apple and a nice big tall bottle of water, ice cold water. Anyway, big love people. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of My Baby Life. Safe. Whoa, I came up, that's all me. Now I'm lying, my whole team around. FND told me, hold it down. These race minds don't understand, man. I'm on my grind, and you wonder why I shout live or want every song. Cause no MC can do it like me. Try to do it like me, like, whoa.